Good afternoon, YouTube. This is Lobo. We got a nice lazy day here in the backyard, taking a day off from prospecting down here in Denver. And what I have here in my backyard is a choke cherry plant. And those are choke cherries, and they are ready for the harvest. Uh, I didn't plant these, these are already here. There is a large Native American population in my neighborhood here. A lot of people from the Lakota nation live here. Uh, but these are choke cherries. That was a bug. Uh, these are choke cherries. What's up, ladybug? Uh, and these are high in protein, uh, high in carbs. Um, these were used in what I consider to be the first trail mix bars here in the Americas. Uh, very popular with the native peoples. Uh, and this is one of the ingredients that you often see in pemmican. Uh, you'll also see this in some of the, the first uh, the first soups uh, of the after the snow comes in because they're very hardy. And with what you basically want to do with these is you want to dry these guys out. Uh, you can dry them out in the sun. Uh, that we don't have sun today, but uh, you can dry them out in the sun. You can use a uh, window screen method, uh, which will keep the bugs and everything off them to dry them out. But basically, you dry these out and you add these with other hardy ingredients. Uh, use some kind of a binding agent to bind it all together. Uh, often that would be uh, like bear fat or a sill blubber of some kind, any kind of fat, uh, greasy meat product. And what you do is you bind all these together, you wrap them up in a blanket or a hide of some kind, and then you, after it's dried of course, uh, you mix it all together, uh, you bind it together with a blanket or hide, and then you put it under a heavy rock for two weeks and it kind of flattens it and, and uh, kind of melds everything together. And then you have yourself a little uh, nature bar. Now, whenever you dry these out with anything else that you dry out, you can also, um, it's very popular to use dry foods and like soups um, because the moisture will rehydrate the fruit. But yeah, I think I'm going to waste away the rest of this afternoon here getting dirty and collecting some of these choke cherries that are out here. That'd be a waste not to utilize them. It's good stuff, man. Anyway, thanks for watching.